will have six grades, four new colleges, of which three are electrified. So we have a hybrid electric vehicle, we have a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle coming in the future. And then we have the first ever performance battery. That's what this one is. This is the RX500 HS4 performance. It's got a 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder made it with an 80 kilowatt e axle in the back, which moves instantaneous torque to 300 feet. And then for the first time ever, we're getting an all new all wheel drive system. This is called the um, Direct 4. It's the DOSI RX. It'll come on the RZ electric vehicle. And this will allow us to seamlessly change the power distribution, of course, from the rear axle to the front axle. So it really helps deliver on that performance characteristic that Lexus driving safety is talking about. On the interior, you'll see an all-new infotainment system. They call it Lexus Interface. Very immersive, very simple, easy to use. Uh, and then you can see from a design perspective, uh, this is copper trim. Uh, we've got the blackout wheels, 21-inch, six piston brakes. I mean, this thing is a total package. It's got the look, it's got the performance, it's got the luxury, and it's super fun to drive. And it's the perfect type of vehicle to roll up to an event like this. I'll admit, I'm a power away guy, and I uh, secretly got my calculator out when I got here, ran the numbers, and by my calculations, it's easily the best power away that RX has ever had by almost 20%. So one thing's clear, a lot of fun going on. I see the F Sport on the side. F for fun, F for fast, a lot of fun going on in the frame. Right? That's, that's exactly right. We're having a great time right about power to weight ratio. We're having a lot of fun at Lexus, but maybe not as fun, as much fun as you've been having as an Insta champion, a 24-hour Le Mans winner, 24-hour Daytona winner. Why don't you focus on the attention to this beast back here? Tell us what it's like to pilot the Lexus RCF GT3 race car. Well, you know, Lexus is known for the LFA, of course. That awesome supercar, V10 power, sounds amazing. A lot of people think that's the fastest Lexus in the lineup. The truth is, this will blow the doors off the LFA. The RCF GT3 we raced in the IMSA Women's Tech Championship against Porsche, Mercedes, and Ferrari. Just won the last race at Road America in GTD Pro, and the program has come a long way. And I can I could go on for hours about all the technology in that race car, but the thing that blows my mind and really best in class on the racetrack is the braking. Nothing breaks like our RCF GT3. With our friends at Lexus Racing and at TRD, we've worked tirelessly to optimize the electronics. You know, in this class now, you have variable traction control, variable ABS control, and there's a lot to the tuning of the instrument, if you will, with the race car electronically. And that's one of the key differentiators in the sport today. So I'm super proud of where this program is in terms of electronic op optimization. The braking is insane. I've done a little Formula One testing in my day. It's that level of braking performance in a 3,000 pound GT3 car. So it's fun. That's fantastic. And what you said is really true. We push the limits with our race car program. And we take the learnings from that incorporated into our production and that's the beauty of working with TRD, working with Shimiyama. We actually test the limits of a naturally aspirated V8 and the RCF GT3 on the track, but we also figured out a way to shoehorn it into the new IS. This is the IS 500 Aspirate Performance. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you curated this special building? Well, I've been a, a Lexus ambassador for the last couple of years, and one of the first projects that you all were kind enough to give me was to take a stock IS 500 and take it to the SEMA show, the aftermarket show in Vegas. This one obviously looks a little more aggressive than your standard IS, but I still wanted to keep it understated. Um, it's really got that fresh look. If you notice after we're done, it's got the ghosted graphics, kind of three-dimensional graphics here. The aero disc wheels from Rotiform that are a throwback uh, to some of those uh, those IMSA wheels that you saw in sports car in the 80s that I love. They're also functional, pulls a lot of heat out of the wheel well to improve braking performance. But I think the most significant thing about this project, what I was really excited about to work with Lexus for the first time on, is this entire fender, which is completely redesigned with these huge uh, gills on the side. The entire piece is 3D printed, and this is the first wrap. So we literally designed it in CAD, threw it on the 3D printer, bolted it up, and went to Vegas for the SEMA show. And I'm proud that 10 months later, it's, it's still here. Uh, so that was super cool. It's got a 3D printed, uh, front chin spoiler here, uh, the dive planes here all 3D printed all the way back to the cap on the rear roof and uh, all together it just came, came really nicely together in a way that I'm super proud of and with a normally aspirated V8 
almost 500 horsepower. I mean, who, who doesn't love a motor like that? Well, that's music for my ears, and I'd actually love to hear you start it up. Can you actually do that here? I don't see why not. I just saw all those muscle cars go by. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us today at Lexus. If you stick around, I'm going to hop in and fire this up and see what kind of noise we can make. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and thanks for considering Lexus. Appreciate it. Thank you.